deconstructing, de deconstructing him. You could even do some more exploratory sketches, you know, and sort well, yeah. of play around with the proportions and things like that. Because you can see Homer was refined over the years, and he sort of went through an evolution. But I'm going to just sit here and just. Would you consider him an incredibly intelligent guy or not? Yes, no, He's an average. I don't. I'm not trying to get into a. People seem to find humor in people that have lower intelligence. I, for some reason, I think that's one of the. You know, there's nerdy people that everybody thinks funny too. But. Okay, so let's just. I'm going to try to draw a character that I think is not bright. Okay, and this is nothing against your roommate. Nothing. He could be brilliant. I don't know anything about the guy. But I'm trying to construct him using basic shapes. And I'm not going to do Homer Simpson, but I'm going to sort of be a little bit inspired. So what I'm going to try to do is simplify him into some very basic shapes, bisect those shapes, make sure I've got it constructed in a way that's solid. And as you can see what I've done with, okay, the neck cylinder, right? So I'm just sort of constructing my character out of these basic shapes. See now, what the reason I put these cubes in there is that that then makes it much easier to draw this character as I have here in two-point perspective with Homer Simpson. Can you check it out? See, so you got Homer Simpson drawn in two-point perspective, and the, the easiest way that I could get him to line up. You can see that I've drawn him at different sizes, right? Not a really easy thing to do, to be honest with you, to get the exact likeness and all that stuff, but it does give you an idea that when you break, deconstruct your character into the most basic shapes, it's much easier to repeat that character in any number of different um, scenarios. So when you go in and try to figure out how you want to do this character, I would say separate the eyes a little bit more. They're a little bit close set, and that's a very common, what I would consider, mistake in good character design. And, and you can make him even dumber looking too. Sometimes the, uh, I, I did this little thing called the anatomy of stupid, and that was I broke down all the traits of this character that I made that, that made him look stupid. And one of them is the half open eyes. Like he's sort of barely there, or maybe he's a little stoned or something. <laughs> the overbite type of thing, that's you know, the, uh, that type of thing. <laughs> so you guys, your guys got sort of like this small little, sort of almost prissy little mouth and everything. Does, it, does he have like that kind of a mouth? Yeah. Is it real delicate sort of? That's it's ironic. Small, I guess. That's okay. So let's give him a small mouth and see if we can. So I'm just going to make give him sort of a uh, slight. Do you ever see people that have their mouths open for no reason whatsoever? It's just kind of. <laughs> it just look. It makes them look like they're sort of like just wondering what they're doing and what. what. So that's part of my anatomy. It's stupid. I have your mouth slightly open and a little bit of drool, perhaps. Okay. So I'm just drawing a very simple mouth here. You've got his mouth just very like that, but that's okay. <coughs> and he's got uh, a goatee? Yeah. A little bit, okay. That's okay. So let's just. So if I, I've incorporated two spheres to make up the head, kind of the part that covers the, uh, call it the jowl. And this is just one of several drawings that I would do to develop this character until it got him to the point where I said, hey, this is, this is a great character. I always have the eyebrows of the dumb, the anatomy of stupid guy, sort of like back, like he doesn't know. He sort of feels helpless because he just can't navigate his day correctly or something. So they got this sort of like helpless look on their face a little bit. Just little things, but it's just really simple stuff. 
Okay, and then the chin. Give him some kind of chin. Maybe like a double chin. I'm just going to give him one tooth. Sort of like a buck tooth situation. He looks like a drunk. 